Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Big, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. We want to welcome you today to the Joy of Music, and we have a very exciting program for you. We are going to feature a very special kind of music, the Gospel Song. Gospel songs are experiential. They were written and still are written by people who have experienced the grace of God and the transforming power of Christ in their lives. And it's very exciting because today, you will hear performing some of the greatest musicians in the world who through these gospel songs are also expressing their faith in Christ. And I and they can agree with Jerome Hines, the great bass of the Metropolitan Opera, as he sings Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine.
We just couldn't do a program of gospel songs without performing the two favorites of people around the world, How Great Thou Art and Amazing Grace. How Great Thou Art is a Swedish folk melody, and Amazing Grace was written by John Newton, who had lost hope in life, but finally turned to Christ to transform his life. How Great Thou Art will be performed by Stacy Blair, the great blind trumpeter, who several years ago won the International Maurice Andre Trumpet Competition in Paris. He will be playing at the Garmisch Partenkirchen St. Martin's Church in Germany. And then we return to the Coral Ridge Church where we hear two arrangements of Amazing Grace, one played by the world-renowned harpist Suzanne McDonald and Linda Wood, and then I will perform this great hymn on the 7,000 pipe Rafati organ.
The scriptures tell us what doth it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul. For the musicians that you have been hearing today on the program, they would tell you that more than fame or riches or success, they would rather have Jesus. And the man that penned these words, the great beloved gospel singer Bev Shea, is going to sing that for you now. And after we hear Bev Shea sing, I'd rather have Jesus, then we turn to the beautiful cello playing of Anne Martindale Williams, the principal cellist of the Pittsburgh Symphony, as she plays, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather be His than have riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by His nail-pierced hand than to be the king of a vast domain or be held in sin's dread sway. I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords today. He's fairer than lilies of reddest bloom. He's sweeter than honey from out the comb. He's all that my hungering spirit needs. Oh, I'd rather have Jesus and let him lead than to be a king of a vast domain or be held in sin's dread sway. I would rather have Jesus than anything this old world affords
gospel songs most always reflect on the love of Jesus and what it has meant in the hearts of those who have experienced it. We hear now a great gospel song that is taken from a classical piece of music, O Solo Mio, and the title of it is Down From His Glory. The chorus is, Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I love him. And this is sung by Joe Stewart, a great tenor who sings in operas and oratorios all across this country. Today on The Joy of Music, we have featured the gospel song, pieces that are written by people who have experienced the wonderful transforming power of Christ and performed by musicians who have also experienced God's grace in their lives. I'm sure they would want to join me in asking you the question, have you experienced God's grace? and His transforming power in your life. You can by trusting in Him and Him alone for your salvation. 
Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week.